Yeah, I thought, you know, probably both teams started, uh, you know, without confidence. You know, we both had a fair bit of stuff going on. I thought throughout the game we probably played Newcastle in, back into a bit of form. But, you know, when it was still a contest, we, um, you know, we tried to go for an intercept and concede to try and then threw an intercept and concede to try and just uh, found a way to make life tough for ourselves today. So, yeah, it's particularly disappointing. Is it especially hard given last week you showed so much and then this week it just felt like you, know, you couldn't stop them? Yeah, it's hard on a lot of levels because we do, and I know it doesn't look like it at times, but internally we have felt like we've been making some progress on things that we want to make progress on, like the starting points. They're not the parts that fans and members see and they're not the parts that people turn up to watch, but they're the parts that needed to be our starting point for us to, as a club to build what we need to build. And, I feel like we have been making some progress on that and, and um, quite significant in some areas. And um, yeah, it, did, it just wasn't there today, yeah, absolutely. What was it about today? It was, I mean, obviously it was dreadful weather and you know, coming up against a team that also out of form, but yeah, anything for today? Yeah, well, I think that middle part, like I said, when, when we come up with the intercept and when we um, and then we threw the intercept um, to concede two tries, it took us, I think it was. 6-4 or 10-4 or something at that stage and then took it out to 20 or to 4. I think whatever team, I think both teams were playing without a bit of confidence uh, at that stage and then uh, I think whatever team got their opportunity, um, if that opportunity had to come to us and we get a try or two, I think you'll find Newcastle probably go similar to us at the moment where you, you know, um, it just doesn't work for you and, and the opposition gets on top but unfortunately for us um, it didn't go that way, it was us that, that wobbled and fell over and um, yeah, we couldn't get back up on our feet. How do you feel like Jai went today? Obviously a lot of spotlight on him over the last 48 hours or so. Jai? Arrow. Arrow? Yeah. yeah, no, I think he, he delivers pretty, he's pretty consistent what he delivers. He delivers the same stuff, so, um, he, and he handles that stuff pretty well. I think it's, you guys are more excited about that than him. I think he knows whatever's going to happen, he's going to end up well paid, so I don't think he's losing too much sleep, so. Um, but he he's, he's delivers the same sort of stuff no matter what the game is. So he, and he's certainly handled it well internally. It hasn't been an issue at all. Been a bleak couple of months, maybe. I guess you got a chance to go home and, and one last game and, and try and salvage something with a, a good performance and possibly win next week. Yeah, and that's how we have to look at it. You know, that, that half the competition goes on and plays final football now. We've got we've got one game left. You know, so um, I know it doesn't change much. Of what's happened during the season, but it gives us an opportunity to um, at least finish giving the people that have supported us and the people that have um, um, stood beside us. And they're they're thinning out quick, but they you know there's a loyal crew that are um, staying with us, and uh, we've got to make sure that we play the 80th minute against the Dragons to give them something to um, you know to feel good about at least over the summer. Good. Thanks, fellas.